2001, I started noticing that I didn't enjoy the music as much anymore. It, it took a while until I realized why. And about 2002, 2003, I couldn't listen to new music anymore because if it doesn't sound good, it's not enjoyable for me. It's kind of an uh, occupation, occupational hazard and it keeps getting worse. The thing is, it, well, about, um, Wow, I'm uh, losing my train of thought here. But the whole, the whole point is, I, I stopped listening to pop music and I started listening to classic rock instead. Because it sounded good. And then I, I could go, instead of going forwards in time, I you know, went backwards and, and listened to that stuff. And that was great, but here we are ten years later and I'm getting tired of classic rock. Uh, no offense, Frank. And, um, and CDs sound worse than ever. I mean, around 2005, I figured, well, they can't get any worse now. But and and still, it's somehow dead. It's almost almost amazing. So I decided to take the matter into my own hands. I mean, you know what happens as a kid when you abuse the privilege, it gets taken away. Mastering engineers have had the privilege to set the loudness level. Uh, we took that away with compression, but now they've also been setting. Uh, setting excess, excessive density and distortion. That's a privilege. They have abused it, so I will take it away. And um, I'm doing that with an algorithm I call undo. <laughs> um, what it is, it's, um, it's an adaptive automatic real-time declipper. Uh, if, if any of you have heard of the, uh, of the command line program CD Clip by uh, a British gentleman named Graham Wilkinson, uh, well, uh, I have, and uh, I liked it so much that rather than reinventing the wheel, I licensed his. So the Omnia 9 has real-time declipping. So you feed it a square wave and you get, out something ni get something nicer looking and nicer sounding. And then the next, uh, next thing, the undo algorithm itself, it is a program adaptive psychoacoustic density detector. It detects whether the CD is smashed or not, and if it is, it applies multiband expansion so that you get the drums back and you get rid of a lot of that distortion and the, that annoying crunch, that, uh, that wall of sound that, that somehow, that amazingly kids who grow up today think that that's what music is supposed to sound like. So I'm hoping to change their minds. And, um, yeah, let's uh, let me just get this laptop started here, so, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show. <laughs> ah, so that's what that button does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need a hard drive with with all all the clip music. And uh, yeah, the nice thing is there's yeah there's no shortage of finding good uh, of. Uh, of finding good tracks to demo a declipper with nowadays. It's really not it's very, very easy. So, one there. Okay. Let's start by. Um, you know what? Before we go further. Uh, no, that's not it. I'm going to start playing some music here. Just to make sure that we've got everything set the right way. <laughs> 